On this episode of IGN's eSports Stories, presented by the original Nissan Cup Noodles, Team USA has beaten the odds in the group stages, but now must compete against their biggest rival, South Korea. Will Team USA's journey stop in the quarterfinals, or will they overcome the odds and take victory? It's no secret that South Korea dominates the competitive gaming scene, as evident in the 2016 Overwatch World Cup. The 2016 Korean team was good because the fans actually chose professional players. The 2016 South Korean team had a lot of things that many of the other teams did not. In retrospect, South Korea was going to win 2016 whether anyone liked it or not. South Korea will win the Overwatch World Cup without dropping a single map. They were completely next level in a way that few people really expected, and they caught everyone off guard. With the new committee selection process for the 2017 Overwatch World Cup, South Korea, an already dominant team, got even tougher. This year with the committee, they had a very good idea of who is a good in-game leader, who's a good shot caller. So I think this time around, we're seeing a very, very strong, basically aggregated team. This is a team where they can adapt to any situation and they have flexibility for days. South Korean teams have really good teamwork, really heavily coached to play around the team. They're not limited by certain players not being able to play heroes. They definitely can play every role and every player can play every role. Like South Korea's team is very versatile. I briefly watched the South Koreans in the group stages and I think that they're not really showcasing how good they are. They're kind of messing around, having fun with it. In 2017, South Korea's style is actually pretty hard to decipher because they've been so far ahead of the teams they played in the group stages that they really got to toy around with their opponents more often than not. So we haven't really seen South Korea push to the limit just yet. The reality was is that there was no team in Poland that had the, the smallest amount of mechanical skill in terms of what South Korea had. Teams couldn't even get over that first hurdle for the most part before they could even start thinking about the deeper levels or the substrata of strategy that would be involved in trying to counter a team like South Korea. Even when you look at a strong team, sometimes there are points where you look for obvious weaknesses. The problem with doing that for South Korea is that South Korea was so dominant and able to get away with playing so many unconventional things that you don't really even know their play style when they're going at 100%. I'm pretty sure Flower played every single hero on the roster in Katowice. Whether that will be the case against North America or not remains to be seen. Either they'll come out respecting the North American squad or they'll be made to respect them. As fate would have it, Team USA is set to face the very tough Korean squad in the quarterfinals of the 2017 Overwatch World Cup at BlizzCon. The odds are stacked against America in this epic rematch. I think this is uh, USA's chance to redeem ourselves for last year. Kind of works out that we get to play South Korea again. One of the challenges for Team USA is that even though they played really well in the San Monica group stage, is that because they're a national team and they're not a team that's playing together all the time, they haven't quite had enough time to grind out together in the lead up to BlizzCon proper, where I'm sure they might get a few weeks of practice, but not as much as you would think if you want to bring your play up to another level. I think between now and BlizzCon, in order for us to beat Korea, we really need to come out of contenders. Everyone needs to kind of just take a little bit of a break and come back refreshed, ready to practice, and ready to win. South Korea's roster this year is definitely scary. There's definitely a real reason why they're considered to be the favorites, and I think they'll have a few, a few surprises at BlizzCon. I don't think they have a realistic chance against South Korea. It's not realistic. Like You're looking at overwhelming odds in the favor of, of the South Korean team. When it comes to Team USA drawing South Korea in the quarterfinals, what it comes down to is this. Go big or go home. You either defeat the most favored team in the tournament and ride that wave to the gold medal, or you end up going home with nothing. My message to the American fans is we're not gonna let you down. We'll play our best. Thank you for supporting us, and I hope that we'll make you guys proud at BlizzCon. On the final episode of IGN's eSports Stories, the United States goes for redemption as they face the very dominant South Korean team at BlizzCon 2017. Will they beat the odds, or will South Korea once again become back-to-back -back champs? This has been IGN's eSports Stories, presented by the original Nissan Cup Noodles.